Okay, question six. Use a protractor and a ruler to accurately draw a square with lengths of five centimetres. So, obviously, the first thing we're going to do is use a ruler and draw a five centimetre line. Be as accurate as you can with that. Then move your ruler out of the way. Now get your protractor. Now, the reason why it's asking us to use a protractor is because we should really be accurately measuring 90 degrees. We know that square is 90 degrees. A lot of people would be tempted to guess 90 degrees here, but I'm going to double check with my protractor. It says zero pointing along the line, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Put a little mark at 90 degrees. Then shift your center of the angle to the other end of the line. There's zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 degrees. Obviously then we need to get our ruler back. And we need to make these lines five centimeters long. Now, the thing to realize here is that the marks I've put in are actually further away than five centimeters. So when we join these up, we're not joining to the mark. We're just going, because that would be longer than five. We're just going in the direction of the mark. So five in the direction of that mark. Move your ruler across. There we go, five in the direction of the mark. And if everything's gone right, we should find that the top line should pretty much take care of itself and be bang on five. There we go. So the top line, I think I might be one millimetre out, it's actually about one millimetre out. Doesn't Sometimes that's a bit fiddly drawing with these tools like this. You'd, you'd get the marks for that if you were, as long as you weren't any more than one millimeter else so there we go it is five centimeters on all sides